Welcome to Tython, Padawan. Everyone at the temple is looking forward to meeting you. Your former masters praise your combat skills. They say you're becoming an expert duelist. It's easy to excel when you're trained by the best. The Jedi Council will assign you a new master to oversee your final trials. You'll be tested in ways you can't imagine. But when you leave Tython, you'll know what it means to be a Jedi Knight. More importantly, you'll know yourself. Being a Jedi Knight is my calling. What else can the Masters tell me? Many Padawans feel the same way until they face the trials. That's why releasing preconceived notions is part of the Jedi Code. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. Enter your training with an open mind. You might surprise yourself. There's a speeder here that will take you to... Hang on. Getting an emergency signal. Flesh Raiders? Armed with blasters? He must be mistaken. What are these things? Animals? Flesh Raiders are a species of hostile natives. They're smart enough to use tools and violent beyond reason. I'm sending every able-bodied Jedi down to the Padawan training grounds right away. Especially you. Just point the way. I'll handle the rest. Take the speeder outside to the training grounds, push back the flesh raiders, and find out if they're really using advanced weapons. Go. I'll catch up with you after I alert the Jedi Council. May the Force be with you. You're unharmed. Good. Flesh raider shot me in the leg while I was rescuing some Padawans. Don't know where these things got blasters, but I know how to use them. I've been evacuated to a med center, but the fighting isn't over. I'll push back the enemy, whatever it takes. We need to stop them at the source. Another Padawan found a cave tunnel the Flesh Raiders used to enter this valley. I need you at that tunnel, making sure the Flesh Raiders don't get any more reinforcements through it. I'll find this cave tunnel and seal it. We need to end this conflict before anyone else gets hurt. Find the tunnel along the mountain range. May the Force be with you. Stop struggling, Padawan. Your life was over the moment you set foot here. Because the Order must evolve, and you are weak. Whatever your problem is, Ugly, I'm here to end it. Hmm. You are... dangerous. You killed my soldiers. Not attacking. Cleansing. And we have only begun. I'll do some cleansing of my own. You do alright? What happened here? Thank the force that you're both safe. This man's no Jedi, at least not one of us. If he wasn't like us, what was he? I'd call him Sith, but the Empire doesn't know where Tython is. This lightsaber, there's something familiar about it. Strange. You held off all these attackers by yourself with only a practice saber. Impressive. I followed my instincts. That's all. They served you well. This battle's over, but we don't want any more flesh raiders coming through here. That should hold them back for now. I want to learn how to do that. I'll spend a few decades practicing, and you'll pick it up in no time. Not yet. I'll get you to a med center. You seem all right to travel alone. Report to the Jedi Council. This valley isn't safe yet. I don't feel good about leaving. We have Jedi Knights rooting out the last attackers. You're needed elsewhere. 
Follow the path leading out of this valley. You'll find the Jedi Temple through the mountain pass. See you there. Padawan, I'm Satil Shan, leader of the Jedi Council. I'd like to speak privately with you before we meet with the others. You have my full attention, Master. What do you need? This isn't a discussion for a comm channel. Come to my meditation room in the temple. We'll talk there. Welcome, Padawan. The temple is already buzzing with accounts of your heroism in the training grounds. Master Orgus told me you battled flesh raiders, and a force user armed with a lightsaber. That must have been a disturbing confrontation. Are you alright? Don't worry about me. I admire your composure, but have you truly searched your feelings about this? Taking a life affects the living force, and the one who does the killing. This is why Jedi enter battles calmly, with reason. Emotions like fear and anger lead to the dark side. The man I fought wasn't angry or fearful. Not on the surface, perhaps. As the Jedi Code teaches us, there is no emotion, there is peace. Remember those words when times are darkest. And take this. The Code is a source of strength, but some backup never hurts. I'll see you soon in the Council Chambers. I searched the Temple Archives. This Force user leading the Flesh Raiders never received Jedi training. Then the Sith have found us. Shouldn't we get ready for them? Calm yourself, Padawan. We can't be certain of anything yet. But we've all sensed a growing darkness. Perhaps it's finally revealed itself. The enemy I faced wanted to destroy the Jedi Order. Can't get much darker than that. Well, that brightened up the room. Everyone, this is the Padawan who saved our people in the training grounds. This is Master Kiwix and her extremely vocal Padawan, Kira. The other Masters are transmitting from distant worlds. It's unfortunate our numbers are scattered. Indeed. The Temple's safety is unexpectedly threatened. The Flesh Raiders were disorganized primitives before today. I think you've been misinformed. We clearly underestimated the natives. The man leading the Flesh Raiders probably wasn't acting alone. Much of Tython remains unexplored, and we have few resources to spare. I'll handle it, with the help of my new Padawan. Orgus, you haven't taken a Padawan since Coruscant. The Force is strong in him, stronger than I've seen in decades. I can think of no finer master to complete this Padawan's training. It will be a privilege. Don't get too excited. You're in for some hard work. You'll find supplies in my chambers downstairs. Go equip yourself. I'll meet you there. Uh, blast those council meetings. I'd die of old age before my colleagues ran out of things to say. Have you always felt this way about your fellow masters? Don't misunderstand. They're good people. I just prefer to get things done. This situation has come to you fast. You're braving dangers many Jedi never face. I wouldn't blame you for having questions. This may be the only time to ask them. I get the impression you haven't had a Padawan for years. Why did you ask to train me? As Jedi, you learn to trust your instincts. When I met you in that cave, my instincts told me that I was meant to train you. I don't know why or for what purpose, but the Living Force brought us together for a reason. You think the Force is alive? That it wants something from us? Want is too strong a word. Let's just say we'll accomplish more together than by ourselves. There's a group of Twi'lek pilgrims on Tython. They've been fighting the Flesh Raiders for months. The Republic asked us to deny those Twi'leks aid. They settled here illegally. But frankly, we need them. How are they violating the law? When Tython was first rediscovered, the Twi'leks petitioned the Senate to settle here. Their claim was denied, too dangerous. But they came anyway. The Twi'leks have a settlement in the mountains. That's your next stop. Establish a base camp and speak to the Matriarch. Find out everything the Twi'leks know about Flesh Raiders. 
Anything you can tell me about the Twi'lek leader? Where it is, she's not our biggest fan. You may have to convince her otherwise. I'll join you soon. May the Force be with you. Greetings, Matriarch. Master Orgus Din has sent me to help you fight the Flesh Raiders. So the Jedi finally deigned to recognize my people's suffering. How noble. Nothing to do with the attack on your training grounds, I'm sure. We didn't realize how great a threat the Flesh Raiders had become. And now you seek help from the people you once ignored. My scouts have tracked the Flesh Raiders for months. Watch them grow in strength. I will share what we've discovered. But only if you agree to protect my people, we... We suffer. Mother, you need rest. Let me carry this burden for you. The matriarch appears sick. Does she need a doctor? Thank you, but we have our own healers. This is my daughter, Rana Dalven. She and Scout Chief Morint here will speak for me. I must attend to... other matters. Personally, I don't care why you've come. As long as you destroy the Flesh Raiders. Ever since they got their new weapons and gear, they hunt us like animals. The enemy has a camp in the valley nearby. My scouts say the Flesh Raiders store their weapons and other tech in a cave. Nice of them to keep everything in one place. Makes it easier to destroy. Destroying the weapons won't be enough. They'll just get more. We need to strike fear into the Flesh Raiders, sabotage their weapons. Fix it so they blow up in their ugly faces. How would we do that? Their technology is standard Republic design. We could overload the power circuits and plasma coils. Here, I'll show you. Sabotage would thin the Flesh Raider numbers and eliminate their technological advantage. If you brought that technology here, we could defend ourselves with those weapons. This village is vulnerable to attack. You need better defenses. This debate is pointless unless you can get inside that cave. You'll need one of the leader's access keys. Find the Flesh Raider technology and do what you think is best. Good luck, Master Jedi. Once they have all this, the Twi'leks can defend themselves. Don't worry, little guy. I'll get you out of here. What made the Flesh Raiders bring you back here? Teach our soldiers how to use these weapons. Train them on the Twi'lek invaders. When will we strike against the Jedi? Patience, Caliph. The Jedi will fall when our army reaches full strength. I never understood the need for restraining bolts anyway. She died in my arms. You should have seen what those filth did to her! I'm sorry, Selu. We all share your loss. For every one of us the Flesh Raiders butcher, we should kill ten! No, no, a hundred! Will that restore your loved one to life? Don't lecture me, Jedi. My wife is dead. Our people slaughtered. Where were you then? Nothing I say will ever make you feel whole again. But we truly are doing everything we can. What about exterminating those animals? The Flesh Raiders won't stop until we're all dead. Are you going to let that happen? I won't quit until the Flesh Raiders are defeated. That's a promise. We'll see what a Jedi's promise is worth. I hope you can fulfill that pledge. I fear he won't take disappointment well. People wonder why Jedi are forbidden to marry or have families. They don't see how attachments always lead to suffering. Passionate emotions can destroy a person, and Jedi destroyed by passion become something terrible. T7 was captured by the Flesh Raiders. You'll want to see the holo recording he made. While I deal with a droid, talk to Rana. I think her people are ready to help us, thanks to you. With the weapons and technology you brought from the Flesh Raiders, my people can defend themselves. You risked your life to help us. My people haven't had a champion for some time. Jedi have a duty to protect and defend others. 
and we promise to share our knowledge in return for that duty. Scouts report that the Flesh Raider forces are gathering in strength. They already control the mountains around us, and now they're invading the ruins of Kaleth. My men spotted them at the remains of an ancient shrine, close to your Jedi Temple. Kaleth was a great city of Force users. Its ruins hold powers we still don't understand. The Flesh Raiders are looking for something there. We can't let them find it. Drive back those Flesh Raiders immediately. I have to take this droid back to the Council. That hooded figure in the holo, I know his voice. The situation is worse than I thought. Do whatever it takes to push the Flesh Raiders out of Kaleth. I'll send you reinforcements as soon as possible. I'll hold the line until reinforcements arrive, Master. If you see that hooded figure from the holo, do not engage him. Now get going. Jedi. Did you just call me Jedi? Master Orgus sent us. We came as quickly as we could. One of the Flesh Raiders I just fought called me Jedi. He could use the Force. That's troubling. If the Flesh Raiders are learning the ways of the Force, it won't be on the side of light. You sure made short work of this bunch. You ever leave survivors? When was the last time you fought someone trying to kill you? Besides my master? Eh, a few months. This is no laughing matter, Padawans. This Flash Raider carried a holocron, a repository of knowledge created by a Force user. Thousands of years old from the looks of it. Master Orgus was right. These natives are more advanced than we realized. They're learning how to fight us. Master Orgus thinks he knows who's behind it. I gathered as much, but he had no time to explain before sending us here. I wish we could stay, see this through, but Master Satil has ordered us to Coruscant on a special mission. All those bad feelings the Council's been having? She thinks the Republic Capital is the source. I'm sorry to have to leave you, but the danger is past. These surveillance monitors will keep watch on Kaleth, place them around the ruins. The Temple can then monitor any future incursions by our enemies. What are we prepared to do if the Flesh Raiders return? The Temple's guards will respond to any invasion, and these surveillance devices will give us ample warning. May the Force be with you, Padawan. I'm here, Master. What is it? I'm on my way back to the Twi'lek settlement. Meet me there as soon as you can. I'm already on my way. Find me at the Matriarch's compound. Orgus out. Master Kiwix told me what you found in Kaleth. A flesh raider who used the Force. He thought he was learning things from an old holocron. I wish that were true. The man who attacked you when you first arrived? His lightsaber had a familiar aspect. This droid's holo recording confirmed my suspicions. The hooded figure in that recording is named Bengal Moore. He was my Padawan, but he never completed his training. Bengal was in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant when the Sith destroyed it. The Force was with him if he got out of there alive. The Temple was annihilated. Hundreds of Jedi died that day. We never recovered all the bodies. Bengal was strong in the Force, and the most gentle being I've ever known. For him to turn against the Jedi, he has to be stopped. Apologies for keeping you waiting. Our people's matriarch, my mother, is dying. You should be at her side. You're kind, but my mother wants me here. My scouts have identified a Flesh Raider command base in the mountains. It's protected by an energy shield. The shield's power generator is hidden on a different mountain, in a well-guarded cave network. That command base is probably coordinating all the attacks in the region. I need to get inside there. You up for knocking out the power generator? You'll need backup. Can't we send someone else to handle the power generator? You've shown you can handle flesh raiders. We need you there. Hmm. 
See if you can give the droid an opening to gather more intelligence. That energy shield is your top priority. Knock it out fast as you can. Hmm. You must be the Padawan who slaughters my people. Your misguided attacks change nothing. Your time is over. Master Orgus is looking for you, Bengal. Orgus won't find me. I'll find him. You executed my apprentice, Caliph. I can feel his death on you. I spent years training him. He was a good man, a principled man. Proud of yourself? Your student was a killer. He was attacking young Padawans. I gave Caliph too much responsibility too soon. His impatience for justice was his only failure. Every so-called Jedi on Tython is going to die. That's a promise. Your entire order is weak. You've done nothing to stop the Sith Empire's advances. I guess I missed the news about you winning the war. I can't defeat the Sith until the Jedi are strong again. You people diminish the Force by your very existence. Enjoy this little victory. It's your last. I shut down the energy shield. Any word on Master Orgus's mission? No. My mother... She... found peace during your absence. I am now Matriarch. You don't have to go through this alone. People who say Jedi have no feelings... are wrong. Before he left, Master Orgus told me, there is no death, there is the Force. He believes our essence lives on when we die, and merges with the Force. I hope that's true. Matriarch! Flesh Raiders broke through our defenses! They did something to our crop fields! They dropped strange machines in the soil. When a scout approached one, he collapsed with sickness. He crawled away from the device and began to recover, but there are many more machines still out there. Tell your people to stay away from the fields. I'll get rid of these things. Once again, I'm in your debt. Hurry to the fields. I fear we don't have much time. Ah! I've destroyed the machines, poisoning your crops. I saw how you suffered out there. What you did was more than brave, it was... heroic. Please, take a token of my people's honor. I'm sorry it can't be more. Rewards aren't necessary, but thank you. I should go inform everyone that the danger is over. Finally put the Flesh Raider base out of commission. How are things on your end? I spoke to your old Padawan over the Hollow. He's doing all this so he can destroy the Sith. And that's not Sith himself. Good. If I can get to him, reason with him. At the Flesh Raider command base, I found coordinates to a number of secret camps. Too many to send only Jedi Masters. One camp is in the ruins of Upper Kaleth. That patrol you fought earlier was based there. Now's your chance to finish them off. Why spread our forces thin to hit all the camps at once? If we only go after a few, the Flesh Raiders could warn the rest and regroup. Be careful in those ruins. We haven't explored them all. Contact me when your mission's complete. May the Force be with you. Master Orgus sent me to drive back the Flesh Raiders. Powerful or not, there's no one else coming. Is as Allah Sony Parton as Allah Tokisal. The 
Flesh Raider camps out of commission, Master, but they were all Force users. They killed a Jedi named Lauta. His body is in these ruins. What should I do? We'll reclaim our fallen later. Just got a distress call from the Twi'lek settlement. They spotted Ben Moore. Our forces are spread out dealing with the secret camps. We're the only ones who can handle this. I'm on my way to the settlement. Meet me there. Master Orgus responded to your distress call. I was to meet him here. What's happened? Nothing. We didn't send any distress call. Things have been quiet since you left. I haven't seen or spoken to Master Orgus. <laughs> Master Orgus should have gotten here ahead of me. I'm sure it's a misunderstanding. Your master will turn up. Why don't you stay a while? You must be exhausted. <laughs> Stop it! What are you doing? Matriarch, step aside. Handing over the boy's master wasn't enough. This Padawan has to die. I told you to leave him alone. That was the pact. Benglemore refused your terms. This is to save our people. What did you do to my master? Where's Benglemore? Benglemore came to me, said he'd end the Flesh Raider attacks if we gave him your master. He asked us to kill you too. But I said no. I told him we'd keep you here. You'd be safe, and my people would have a protector. If we don't do what we're told, Bengal Moore will kill us all. You don't want to hurt anyone. You want to leave here peacefully. I... I don't want to hurt anyone. We should leave here peacefully. Yes, better that way. Here, perhaps you can use these. We don't need them. This was all a terrible mistake. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I was going to save you. Save us all. You gave my master to the enemy. No, you can still save him. Benglemore took Orgus to someplace called the Forge. Reactivate your droid. It might know where to find them. You can forgive me, can't you? You've done terrible things. There must be consequences. You're right. Tell me what I should do. Surrender to the Jedi Council. Confess your crimes. The settlement will be better off without me. The others will come too. We should confess all our crimes. I'll go to the temple immediately. I hope you find your master. Bengal Moore took my master someplace called the Forge. Do you know where that is? <laughs> I am A4PO, Jedi Archivist. How may I help you? Transmit everything you know about the Forge to my droid T7. That area is considered highly dangerous. May I inquire why you need this data? Flesh Raiders captured Master Orgus and took him there. By the stars, what perfectly awful timing. The Temple Masters are all indisposed fighting Flesh Raiders. I will alert them immediately, but they may be unable to assist you. Transmitting data now. <laughs> I sensed you coming. Your fear betrayed you. You're weak. Like my old master, you will fall with him. You're not hurting anyone else, Bengal. It's over. No, the will of the Force guided me here for justice. To restore what the Jedi lost. You weren't on Coruscant. You never saw our greatest cut down or watched the temple burn. I escaped that destruction to see my own master surrender to the Sith. They exterminated us, and he gave up. You're wrong about Master Orgus. He's training me to defeat the Sith. Weapons are only as strong as those who created them. The weak will be sacrificed here to make the Forge stronger. The Jedi Order must be reborn from ashes. You've won. Why has the Force guided me to this defeat? 
You are stronger than any Jedi I've known. You could redeem the Order and destroy the Sith. I understand. You are the weapon I came to forge. You don't have a destiny, Bengal. You're sick. You need help. Don't deny the truth. Think. How else could you have beaten me? I have spent a lifetime learning the paths to power. That knowledge is now yours. Let me leave Tython and prepare the galaxy for your ascendance. I will deliver the gifts you need to reclaim your destiny. You'll get the help you need, Bengal. But you can't leave here. Padawan, I must have you to thank for being alive. I captured Bengal Moore, Master. He's resting quietly. You've done a great thing. He deserves a second chance. The horrors he witnessed on Coruscant broke him, destroyed the gentle Padawan I trained. You, however, faced a challenge beyond any trial I could assign. There's nothing more I can teach you. All that's left is for you to enter the forge and construct your own lightsaber. I'm tremendously honored. There's no substitute for the weapon you create yourself. Normally we make Padawans gather materials themselves, but you've proven enough. These are all the physical components. The rest will come from your mastery of the Force. I'll carry Bengal back to the Jedi Temple and get him help. Meet me there when you're ready. This weapon will be a light in the darkness. Flesh Raiders are still a threat, but without Bengal's leadership, they'll be scattered and ill-equipped. This temple could have been devastated. The entire order is in your debt, Padawan. The enemy found weaknesses in our security. We have to guard against another Coruscant. Agreed. And now we have concerns beyond the Flesh Raiders. Recent developments in the Twi'lek settlement demand a response. Their matriarch betrayed me to Bengal, but she surrendered herself to us for judgment. You're doing, I understand. Good work. You know the Twi'leks, Padawan. How do you recommend we proceed? We created instability by refusing to help them. That has to change. What happened to Master Orgus is almost unforgivable. But if we do forgive and work with them, it can only improve both our communities. This young Jedi captured a fallen member of our order and saved this temple from destruction. I see no reason why he should remain a Padawan. Your bravery, heroism, and sacrifice show great depth of character. You represent our best hopes for the future. You arrived on Tython a Padawan. 
but you leave a Knight of the Republic. May the Force be with you. I promise to uphold every standard of the Jedi and Galactic Republic. This little droid and I have been through a lot. We're a great team. Then I see no reason why you shouldn't stay together. We're getting a priority signal from Coruscant. It's Master Kiwix. Master Orgus, everyone. I've discovered a situation requiring further assistance. Our suspicions about Coruscant were correct. The dark presence we have long sensed is strongest here. What could be worse than a fallen Jedi attacking us? That's what we need to find out. The security of the entire Republic is at stake. This situation calls for our very best. Master Orgus, you and your former pupil should join Master Quix on Coruscant. Come to the Senate Tower as soon as you can. Master Quix, out. No rest for us, my friend. Complete any unfinished business you have and take a shuttle to Coruscant. I'll leave immediately, Master. I need to wrap up some things before I go. Meet you on Coruscant. Farewell. The Force will be with you. Always.